Hey guys, it's Silver Snorlax, and I am back. Um, I have taken about a week off of YouTube, uh, so if you've PM'd me previously and I haven't gotten back to you, there's a reason. Uh, as a lot of you know, I uploaded my last video. I wasn't a car accident, and I decided it would be in my best interest to relax a little bit, take it easy as best I could. Um, so I haven't been on YouTube basically for the past week. That's something I don't normally do. I normally don't um, just go on hiatus like that. But good news is I'm back. I got a zillion PMs I need to respond to. Uh, a lot of people have asked and requested great reports uh, from what I've gathered. So what I've done is I've compiled a 26 page document uh, to do great reports for rounds 18, 19, 20, and 21. Round 19 was uh, uh, processed while I was, uh, while I was gone. Um, and I'll go over that more later. But um, really, the focus of this video is to get the grade report out to everybody who has rounds in, basically from March till about June, really, um, who sent into PSA with me. So um, at the end of this video, I'm going to uh, be rambling a little bit. So if you want to stick around, kind of get more channel update news, news on me, uh, things going on with uh, how things are going to be return shipped, um, how the uploads are going to work, because that's all going to be very intricate intricate now um, as PSA has sent all the cards back basically at once um, for me to um, upload and review so um, lots of stuff I'm going to cover there but uh, my main objective right now is just to get the grade report out which is what I'm going to do uh, check for annotation leaks for the rounds that you were in 18, 19, 20, 21 um, if you guys don't know what round number you were in uh, let me put it to you this way if you're part of round 18 that means your cutoff date was um, 325.14 uh, if you're in round 19, your cutoff date was uh, uh, 4:25:14. Uh, use those dates. Keep those in mind. So if you remember when your cutoff date was or when you sent cards in, you can figure out what round you were actually a part of. So round 19, March, 19, May, April, June. Uh, you get the picture. All right. So let's go ahead and jump onto the actual grade report. Alrighty, first things first. Round 18 will go first, and I hope you guys can read this. I'm doing as best I can uh, with my computer here. Let's see if we can actually move that in a little closer. And I'm going to go over every single user's um, grades, so I'm just going to make little comments as we go. The objective is to get, get this done fairly fast. So here we go. We'll start it off. First card ACDC sent was a Metal Seed Dramon, which was actually a cool card. Unfortunately, PSA does not grade Digimon. Here are the rest of the grades there. Browser Boy TCG. Let you just read those grades as we go. Uh, Mr. Do It All Day. And one card. So I hope you guys can just kind of piece it together a little bit. What I did is I took a direct rip from PSA's site and just kind of threw it into a Word document and cleaned it up a little bit. It actually took me several hours to do, um, and it still looks a little messy, but for the most part you can read and understand what grades you actually got. At least I hope so. Oops. Had to jump from that one a little quick. Obviously your uh, usernames are in bold. There's a font slightly bigger than the rest of the grade report. Does it for round 18? We're moving on to 19. The 11 Wookiees had a zillion cards he sent. Obviously, if you guys need to pause the video while I scroll, feel free to do so. As there isn't a whole lot of talking going on. So I decided as I was getting great reports in and everything else, the number of PMs I would have to send with full-blown grade reports in addition to YouTube's messaging system being still rather funky. I figured that would be such a massive pain. This would be much faster and much easier. So hopefully this goes out to all the folks who were involved. You can find it quickly and easily. But 
as it stood, uh, PSA sent me a grade report on several hundred cards. I really did not want to be tied up sending that many grade reports out to several different people who may or may not get the message because YouTube's messaging system is now garbled. I'm, I'm thinking about moving my entire system over to email completely. So we will see how that how that will translate. All right, there we go. That does it for round 19. We're going to start on round 20. Starting with Pokey Collector 300. I'm pretty stoked to see that a lot of the grades were I'd say nine, nine or eh, we probably average right around nine. We did a pretty good job of that. Um, plenty of gem mint tens, especially on the Japanese cards. Um, more eight point fives this this time around than I had seen in previous rounds. More half grades, which is odd. Uh, these no grades are Venusaur and Charizard Prism. They don't grade that specific set, but they do grade another Prism set. I don't know the difference between the two. Oops. See a little 8.5 right there. You'll notice at the end of a lot of the grade reports, it says card at the very end. You can feel free to ignore that. The way PSA does their system is they actually put what kind of grading was done. Was it a card? Was it a pack? Was it whatever? So if you see that at the end of some of these grades, don't worry about it. That's just how PSA submits it. Round 21, last round. This is the biggest round that I've ever sent on the channel, so a lot of you are probably within this round. It was something like 184 cards, I want to say. So there are a lot of people involved with that one, so feel free to just take a quick look. Uh, this was Queen Sonja however that's pronounced Oops. little jump uh, this was the German Blastoise, I actually looked um, at PSA's site, they actually do not grade certain German cards, or at least none that I could find um, they do Dutch however which, don't ask me why they don't do German I couldn't tell you Retro had a fairly solid round. Again, I had a lot of large orders in that particular round. Again, guys, if you're looking at your rounds, feel free to pause this video. You can figure out where your cards are at. Get a great report on them real quick. I am trying to make this video fairly quick so I can get something up onto YouTube because I haven't been on YouTube for a week. And of course, don't forget, I am going to be talking, rambling a little more at the end of this video. Actually, already got great report. I was able to get that one out to him quickly. Super duper tutorials. Her first send off. She did pretty well. This is something we don't normally see in the Pokemon community, so I'll stop for a quick second and take, take a look at this. Uh, N1 Evidence of Trimming. Um, what PSA does is when they grade the card, they look for any kinds of, size of signs of fraudulent activity. That means um, trimming the card so the corners look sharper or um, uh, 
recoloring the card so it looks brighter, better, it's not faded. Um, this is something we don't normally see with Pokemon, uh, trimming the card to make those corners look a little bit better, but it is something that obviously will come up once in a while. So, unfortunately, um, because they did have to, in fact, grade it and verify the fact that it was not authentic, they um, still have to charge for the grading. Unfortunately, you don't get your money back for that. You just get a report of um, your card has been trimmed. So some cases they will actually refund you if they don't grade it at all but in events like this they have proof that a card has been uh, tampered with they they do have to charge for that grading so something we very rarely see i've sent well over 1200 cards to psa and that's the first one i've ever had come back where there was evidence of something fraudulent Just still moving right along. Apologize for those of you who expected a printed grade report. That was not going to be doable with this many cards. Normally, when PSA does things right and they send cards back in the correct manner, I only have to contact like 10, 15 people at the most. When they send four different rounds back at once, I then have to contact like 50 people back at once, and that, that's that's too much. My system's not set up, so I contact that many people. So normally video grade reports won't be done unless you guys like them. Um, I will change that system up because this is easier for me. All right, I believe that's the end of the grade report, actually. Let me make sure. Yeah. Okay, so that's the grade report, all 26 pages worth of grade report. Um, that I'm happy to be done with, thankfully. That took me hours to compile. Um, may not look like much, but um, a lot of editing is involved in figuring out who had which card and things of that nature. So I'll we'll put these back in front while I talk a little bit. So, um, talking about, uh, let's see, a lot of guys, a lot of you guys seemed interested in what was going on with, with me um, physically after the car accident I mentioned last video. So I'll talk a little bit about the personal stuff that's going on with me too. Um, so basically after that car accident happened, took that week to get better and I feel better. It was a good idea to stop, take off from YouTube for a little bit. Um, so feeling better. Had to take my car into a collision repair place and my um, insurance guy uh, was actually stationed there. And uh, he took a look at it, and they basically what they have to do is they do an appraisal, and they figure out if the car is worth fixing or if it's totaled. Now, initially, when the guy hit me, he like destroyed his car completely. And mine, I thought, only had fairly minor body damage. But when they started looking underneath the car that I have, they realized he had actually kind of hit me so hard he went underneath me, and um, hit the exhaust and things like that. So unfortunately, I got this call a couple days ago. My insurance adjuster called me and said, "Hey." looked at your car, your car is not worth fixing, it's been totaled. So I currently have no vehicle. Um, I have to get him all kinds of fun stuff like the title and the registration and all that good stuff so I can basically um, transfer the um, car over to my insurance company. And what they'll do from there is they'll total it out and they'll cut me a check for the roughly estimated value of the vehicle. They're not giving me a whole lot of money, but it would have been more than I would have gotten on a trade-in. So it's in that sense, it's good. I had planned on getting a new car probably by September, but now it's been bumped up, and I now need to come up with money in order to finish up a down payment, blah, blah, blah. It's not fun to deal with. So I've been dealing with that, and that's somewhat annoying. But, I mean, the good thing is I walked away from that accident, and I could have been way worse. Um, not everybody that totals a vehicle is able to walk away from it by any means so um, in that respect I'm lucky um, unfortunately that makes my financial situation very dire I don't have a vehicle to go to work with um, that's a huge problem so right now I'm borrowing my uh, parents vehicle for the time being I'm borrowing it at nights in order to do much of anything as well as just kind of cart me around my, sometimes I use my girlfriend's car to cart me around a little bit but she's at work too so um, that's become incredibly difficult I'm basically without a vehicle for about two weeks or so um, until I can get the title transferred over to my insurance company. So that's what's going on with that. Additionally, uh, we'll talk a little bit about some of the PSA stuff that's going on. So you'll notice I got round 19 um, in this grade report. Uh, I had mentioned last video last week uh, 
Brown 19 had not been completed yet, and I didn't know how I was going to pay them. Uh, that was true uh, until I started to collect money, throw it in my bank account. I borrowed from friends. Uh, my girlfriend helped me out a little bit. Um, couple, I got my paycheck cleared uh, all on like Thursday, something like that. And I was like, awesome. Uh, that puts me in a much better financial situation. I can start to ship cards back for round eight, at least round 18 and start to slowly push them back out. And then PSA decided they're going to grade round 19 and charge me for it. And they wiped out the bank account again. So I'm not happy with PSA at all. Um, there's no warning when they take money out of your account. They just take it. So I might call them in the future and say, look, I want you to charge me up front so I don't have to deal with this disaster again. This is the second week where I'm, I'm basically walking around broke. Um, that's not a good thing, uh, especially when you don't even have a vehicle to your name. You can't go anywhere. Um, so I'm still dealing with that, still figuring out a system to get the card shipped out. Um, it's probably going to be be done in groupings. So if you're part of round 18, you'll get your cards back first. If you're part of round 21, you're going to get your cards back last. Um, so it's going to take me several weeks to ship everything back out, depending on when I can recollect money and ship out. Um, depending on some of you guys to actually pay for your cards to help with that, um, as I would like to get those cards out as soon as possible. Uh, I definitely don't want to sit on them. So um, just, you know, be patient, guys. It's as best I can do right now. Um, obviously I couldn't see an emergency situation coming up that I'm currently in. Um, a lot of you guys are very understanding and I appreciate that. I do like to try and maintain some kind of professionalism while I'm on YouTube. I like to uh, very efficiently get things out and done and um, through with so you guys can get your stuff back. Um, as a lot of you have already paid and it's not necessarily fair to have you sit there and wait uh, because PSA screwed up and I was in an accident. That's not really fair to you. That's not your fault. So I apologize. You guys might have to sit and wait for a little bit but I do promise you this much. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting things done as quickly as I possibly can, so uh, it's just going to be a little waiting game. We'll see how it goes. Uh, moving on, um, let's see. We talked about PSA, talked about my car accident. What else do we have to to talk about? Really, um, I really can't think of anything else that jumps to mind. Um, oh, the PMs on YouTube. That's that's the other thing. A lot of you guys have contacted me over YouTube. Um, or through the email I have set up, um, I have not responded to you, obviously. Uh, my advice to you is to remain persistent. I'm going to try and burn through as many PMs as I can today, as a matter of fact, to answer and respond to everybody um, because there was a lot that's happened over the past week, and um, I want to try and get those grade reports. Hopefully this video helps um, getting these grade reports out and just dealing with all of that first and foremost. Um, aside from that, if you don't hear with me, hear, excuse me, hear from me within about 48 hours, PM me again. Just say, hey, this is what's up. Repeat your last message, whatever, so I can get back to you. YouTube's messaging system still isn't very good, so that's part of the problem as well. But I'm also doing everything I can to respond to the number of you who sent to PSA or just have questions for me in general. So thank you guys so much for um, watching, listening, uh, understanding more so than anything else. Um, things are a little tight over here and I'm doing the best I can to get these cards back out. So um, we're, we're just kind of taking it one day at a time and we'll see as we go. Obviously, if you have questions or whatever, uh, feel free to drop a comment, drop a PM. Uh, you can email me. I'm trying to get back to everybody. It's a little slow going, so just be patient and I'll, I'll try and get back to you uh, as soon as I can. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll have another upload again soon.